So I wanted to show you this Enchanter Mystic build I've been working on. I'll show a game against every meta team at the moment, and by the end of it we should be able to tell how well this team does against all the meta builds, and a very good idea of how to play it. We're up against Mud Mystic now, so I'll be able to show you how this team works against one of the meta teams. Pretty much always start off with the Krikoraf, and against Mud Mystic I want to start him a little bit further back, and then have my Atlas being at the front. This is because generally, well, I'd, basically I don't want him, his mud units attacking my Kukaraf straight off. And usually they'll have the ape on at the front here. Or wherever they are, they'll hit the Atlas first, most likely. If you didn't know, mud slows your attack speed by a lot. And not only does it slow your attack speed, but it indirectly slows the amount of Omega power you, you generate, because you obviously generate them through attacks. And we need the Kukaraf to cast a lot. But we'll eventually... So it's a pretty strong start. We've got the two Enchanter. So Enchanter, this is really what it's build, built around. Every time the Ranger and the Kukaraf cast their Omega, they're going to shield everyone. The whole team for 110 shield. And that shield does pure, 100 pure damage in a small area around each of those alluvials that get the shield. Just going to put my two Bulwarks down. We'll place the Ape on down as well. So round two, we're going to have three Bulwark. We'll eventually have three Earth as well. And Berserker Toxic. So you can start to see how well-rounded this, this team can be with the Toxic. A lot of tank stats from the Bulwark and the Earth. And we've also got the Ranger eventually for damage. But the two Berserkers will do, do good damage as well. They're only the greater versions. So in the Mud team he's got the Exalted. But they can still do good work. And we, we don't have Mud, obviously. But we'll have the Toxic. Alright, round three. Let's definitely get our Toxic down. I do want... I want to play these at the back. We can get our two Berserkers down. So yeah, round round three is a huge a huge round. We'll get our Mystic round four. So I want these wrapping around onto their carries. We'll see where he places his Monk here. But I definitely don't want his Mud units attacking my Berserkers. And if I can, I want to, I want to target them down. But in the later rounds, most of all, we just want to live. Make our survivability insane enough that we can kind of live through most things and then our ranger will be able to do most of the damage once we get gauntlet on him. So you can see how good the shields are already and we don't even have mystic yet. So we're getting shields from the Kukaraf and the ranger through enchanter every time they omega and then mystic will do a shield every 10 seconds. It's an even bigger shield to everyone and gives attack speed. I'll have this team linked as a team builder link down below so you can click on that and import the team straight to your team builder and start playing and modify it as you like from there and if you appreciate that make sure to like and subscribe let me know down below if you have any questions i always answer everything if he goes three here then i mean this is gg getting meteor console oh he gave it to me those two are very good on him it's probably going to put both of them on his monk here um but like i was saying the sometimes they play the monk the ape on right at the front here and it can stun your kukaraf so i probably actually should have positioned maybe a little bit further back maybe the atlas where my kukaraf is just because you don't want to be in range of that stun on your kukaraf in fact i probably could have played just further back in general because if he plays a ball with his ranger here as well it becomes a little bit more difficult for me all right i'm gonna get the adorius down so that gives us mystic and the Adorus obviously does really good heals as well. Get some extra energy. Every time the Kukaraf Omega's now, he's going to start off with 20 energy. So we just obviously want to get those cast faster. I probably could have put down the physical and energy resistance. That's going to be really good as well. We'll put that down next. But he's not necessarily getting targeted too much at the moment. so Or too early on. So I'd rather just the quicker or the more frequent Omegas. Yeah, so we did put these two down. I'm not going to play Meteoric Onslaught because I want to show you know, what a standard game would be. You know, If we win with that, then it doesn't really prove anything, does it? So I'm not going to play any Legendary Augments. This one's really good on me as well because on Omega, all our allies are going to gain energy, which means more shields. So I won't play any of these and I'll allow him to play his Legendary Augments just to make up for the maybe the not optimal positioning against me. Again, just so we can show you that this deck is, or this team is very viable. Omega and energy every five seconds. Because we know our Dorius is going to be living quite a while. And let's just get an earlier initial Omega off. I could have played the Ranger Gauntlet. 
this round, but we'll, we'll wait one more round. We've got plenty of health, and it's possibly a little bit riskier rather than getting all these other these power down. Going all in on just your ranger before you get these augments down. Okay, yeah, nice move by him. Obviously, you want to position like how he did early, so he didn't spend all that mastery points changing position. But he now has his ranger and his ape on further up, so his team's benefiting from them a bit more. But, see if it's enough. Yeah, so my ranger died fairly early. So it turned out to be a good move not to put the items on him. So I may need to move myself back here. So I'm going to buff up my ranger. So we buffed up the ranger. Change positions. I really just want to get away from his ape on and his ranger. See what he does. He might predict this swap, which would be good of him, and put his ranger here, but... That's okay. We'll just put my ranger in range of my Apon because he's Omega. Pretty sure it still gives everyone extra damage, right? Yeah, damage amp. Oh, he swapped sides, so he did predict it a bit, but either way, we should be out of range of his ranger. See, already my ranger, I'm pretty sure, hit his Apon. Uh, his monkey. And that's the ranger. Killed, killed his monkey. Another cast off. Nice. I don't even think my rifle lance has been hitting anything. But I should win this. I think he's been stuck there the whole round. And look at the range of damage. He's not only doing that damage, but every time he omegas, he's shielding everyone as well. Perfect. So next game, we've got Mud Misty again. And we're against a higher level player. Rick Broder is a really good player and he's playing the same team and we can show how we learnt from possibly the mistakes we made last game. So I'm actually going to start further back. There's kind of no reason for me to start that high up. I think it's pretty obvious that this team would do well against Ramfires. So the question would be how well does it do against Bloom, Bloom Arcanite and Scion and Invokers. So there's Invoker builds and there's the Scion build that I showed last video. Good, and his Apon's attacking my... Oh, his Grilla's attacking my Apon, which is good. Very good. Let's get our Dorius down. Let's go more energy on our Kukaraf. It does... Obviously, gets a bit scary once he starts to get some items on his Monkey. I uh, just noticed he's gone Predator with his Ranger instead of... Mystic like the last opponent did. Which is interesting. Seems to not be working too too badly. See what happens when he gets some items on his ranger. Oh, game over already. Yeah, I mean I don't think that was getting any better for him, but probably Mystic w m might have worked better for him. By the looks of it. Hopefully that those two, between those two games it showcases how this team can go against Mud Mystic. Alright, Sandy Birdie. Or Sand Birdie. Seems like he's playing a Colossus build. Colossus Mystic. But then he still has the Mud and Ramfire. So it's a bit of a flexible build by the by the looks of it. Let's see what he builds with his Ranger. He does have the Staff so he's probably... Yeah, we're going to have to play back again, I think. Again, we're going to go... We'll get our bulwarks down, monkey down. I'm sure there's lots of ways I could tweak this team. Um, like I said, I already tweaked it a bit to add in the ramp fire. Uh, I've changed a couple of augments. We could definitely look at changing the tanks we use. Could potentially put in the terror links instead of the grokko. It just delays your like hitting that that power. In terms of synergies, a little bit later, but you could potentially try that because the with the Mystic and the Enchanter, maybe that Terra Lynx will end up being huge because they they did buff the Lynx. Try to take out his Rap Lance as early as possible with our two Toxic units. It's crazy how well this does this early as well. I don't even have Mystic down. I'm somehow destroying everything. I wonder if this this white must be the enchanter damage, surely. Might go even harder on this side. Put my ranger over here. Because this team's so new, 
like no one's playing Enchanter at the moment. They often, or well, twice I've had them miss the fact that there was an Enchanter Legendary Augment there, and they've given it to me. But obviously, Sam Birdie's too switched on for that. So I think I probably just want to buff off my Kukaraf, give myself extra energy and a Mega. It's always helpful. Let's just nerf his energy gain. See how scary he is. He does have Mystic now, so the attack speed boost is going to help him help his Berk Berserkers sooner. Let's see if it's enough, and he does have the extra damage on his Monkey. Arm. His Griddler's down. His Rife Lance is down. He has gotten through my team a lot better now. But I think my Kukraf is too tanky for his Monkey. Arm. Yep. The Kukraf and Mega is nice as well because it, it, it stuns them obviously, but it makes everyone focus them as well. So you can single target things down. Sweet. Another game against the same build actually, so it's going to be the Colossus Mud Predator Mystic build, but this time it's against Mindia, who's another really good player, so let's see if he has anything different and we... Yeah, the ramp fire didn't really do anything there, did he? Maybe I got a stun off? Alright. That should be game. Come up against Mindia again here. He beats me with this one. He uses Mystic on his Ranger instead. Well, I mispositioned my Kukaraf and there was too many mud stacks on my Kukaraf, so his Monkey was stacking mud and he ended up winning uh, in the overtime. That, damn, I kind of wish he went the same thing as he did last game. So he swapped to the Ramfire. And his Ranger has the Gauntlet. And it doesn't look like it's working out for him. Yeah, between those shields, I still lived. And I can still get my... I've still got room for the tanky augment on my Kukraf. That's game. Oh, we're up against a Bloom Arcanite build. Just really strong at the moment, so this would be good to see how this game, game plays out against using this new Enchanter team. Just start off on this side. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how I want to play this against... The phosphorus, but we'll see how this plays out. His the augments he's going to have to play. He might feel like he has to play immune cleanse, which will make him less tanky. Maybe I can just outlast the damage. But if he goes full tank, then he's going to die. You know, he, he's at risk of dying in the stun. Just do that for now. And I'm, I might be able to play one of my berserkers here. So he's going hard on that side. Oh, that's a weird pathing. I mean, one of the concerns is I won't be able to get to his... He'll be able to just buff up his Fury Ox. And I can't really necessarily get to him. So I might just have to kill his front line. I have to play this match up a few times against different players to really learn how to play against it. Like as always, but as long as my Ripe Lance and the Monkey don't get targeted first, I should be fine. And even if he gets stuck on Lalura, I don't think I mind that. Because he's just going to buff up his Berserker while he hits on him, and I'm going to have to kill him eventually anyway. But I'll put my one of my Mystics here, if... I prefer the Lalura to be on one of my Mystics. This also could be a matchup where I actually want my Kukaraf being targeted first. That could be another adjustment, maybe I'll just put my Kukaraf right at the front with the tanky augments. I also thinking I might put the gauntlet down sooner rather than later. Let's do Adorius just because I think the targeted heals might work a bit better. Make myself a bit tankier on my Kukaraf. Yeah I'm a bit worried about this positioning. Maybe yeah like I said we'll see how this goes. Maybe later rounds I can switch my Kukaraf to here to get hit first if I that's if I'm not winning with this setup. It might change completely when I get my augments on my items on my ranger. 
Nice, so it should hit my Dorius here. Oh wow, everything decided to go target him. It's not what I wanted. Why is my rifle ants just stuck there? Like, he got there in the first place. How did he? Oh, I guess my Kukarafs. Very annoying. I'm not going to spend the mastery points changing positions. I might just have to accept that. Indomitable down here. Just see how it goes with the Gauntlet down now. And at least my front line should last a little bit longer. But the problem is now he's going to get... This is the round where he gets augments on his Phosphorus and Ferriox if he wants. Yeah. Oh wow, and he also got augments on his Ranger. Yeah, this is just a nightmare. Having everyone target him. Although... Not going too badly. Oh, what happened there? I think my Ranger just nuked his front line. This is kind of a good example of not changing positions, just accepting the slightly suboptimal positioning and having all these, you know, items down and augments. Let's have him casting faster. It's a bit of extra starting energy. I was considering putting Dominoborm in the right plants, but Moridi will put some nasty augments down here. Yeah. What's he doing? Reduce attack speed. I don't know if that actually hits my Kukaraf. It's going to affect my right plants and everything, but. Not the worst. Should win this. I guess the positioning that I'm here, that I am here, is really good for the Ranger because he's always hitting pretty optimal targets. Kind of working better than I thought, and we win. Nice. Alright, well there's a good example against Bloom, so you can see it has potential. Like a lot of these players I'm playing, they haven't seen my build yet, so they would obviously make adjustments. Definitely not saying that this enchanter build is going to counter Bloom every time, but that's a good example of how it, how it definitely has potential. We're up against Invokers, so we'll see how this goes. Pretty strong so far, and that's a pretty good start by him as well. Oh, so he is going, he's going Steam, he's not going Shock. It's definitely a good way, and it's probably even better against my team, because... The Jewelif is going to do a lot of work against a team that's built like mine. I'm not going to put my monkey here down, because I'll probably go the Ramfire next. I'll give up the three Earth and the Berserker, because I think I will eventually need some backline access. Even if it's just for Indomitable, and maybe a ramp Ramfire gets his Omega off. But the Enchanter Shields will be doing damage as well on the like when when they shield the ramfire they'll be doing damage in a small area. Let's do the ramfire and let's just start with indomitable. So worst case scenario the indomitable should at least take up a bit of the jewel of Omega, even if I don't get a cast off. Because he does have five bulwark and I don't have Inferno or Phantom. So the Ramfire probably isn't gonna be necessarily killing everything. Yeah see not quite enough. Let me stick down. I should shoot this way. Usually I would get this energy reduction down, but again, we're trying to play it as standard as possible. So what I'll do instead is I'm going to reduce their energy, reduce their energy. And then next round I'll buff my Ranger if I live that long. Given himself, he's getting less energy on us as well. So hopefully, yeah, so this has delayed their first Omegas by a lot. And I should get my Omega off on the ramp. The auto attacks finish him off, surely. Yeah, nice. My Jewel of is still... My Kukraft is still super healthy. We're getting somewhere, but I think... Yeah, I don't know if this is enough for my ramp fire to really take him down. As soon as he gets a different augment on the Jewel of, he's going to live. Alright, let's do it. Let's buff the Ranger. And a little bit of extra tanky stats on my Kukraft. 
So if he switches to this side, I think my ranger should be okay here. Should be safe from the beams, right? He did swap. He swapped completely. But it did cost him a lot of mastery points, so see if that comes into play. Yeah, my Creek Raft just got nuked. My Ramfire. Hopefully he kills him without Omega ring. No, he's gonna Omega into nothing. My Ranger just did a lot of damage. Okay, good. So even if the Ramfire did nothing, it forces him to make other decisions, which is nice. Uh, I think that matchup's okay. What we could possibly do is add in, uh, get rid of Enchanter, like add in a different gauntlet on the Ranger to pair him with the Ramfire and get Inferno Phantom just to make the Ramfire even more dangerous. And I think that might be the way we'll have to go against Scion. If you do end up using this and you're struggling against Scion, definitely consider adding more of a Ramfire option. But there is definitely a way to beat Scion within this team build. But if you want to see any of these other builds, I've got recently uploaded videos on Invoker, Scion, Mud Mystic, and if you appreciate that and this video, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.